Hello, Chris Richter here again from ricochet.com.au. Just something I discovered recently, which is a plugin called the Moodle Plugin Skeleton Generator. Now, this, this is a especially for people who are Moodle developers who are creating plugins of all different types for the Moodle LMS. Just getting started can be annoying, frustrating and knowing which files you need and all the, the format of those files, what they are supposed to have in them. This little plugin skeleton generator creates those for you in a fairly automated way. So check it out. It's been around since 3.9, Moodle 3.9, but I've only just started to have a look at it and give it a go. And so far it's it's been fantastic. So I'm going to show you really quickly what it does, what it looks like. We need to do download, install it, get it ready on your server, and we'll get started. So jumping over to my server, when you install it, it goes into the administration, you go into site administration, obviously you've got to be an admin, go to development, and you'll see there generate plugin skeleton. And if I click on generate plugin skeleton, I can choose what type of plugin I'd like to create an activity module, admin tool, all these different plugin types, uh, blocks, absolutely anything that I like to create. I'm going to use a local plugin because it's the simplest and easiest, but you can see it's got everything else in there, including quiz types, quiz behaviors. There's yeah, plenty of opportunity of things for you to do in this. So let's just go with the local plugin again, keep it simple. We're just going to call it Ricochet Dev is our plugin name and then we just go proceed with manual generation you can use recipes to make them as well uh, you can download recipes and create them yourself all sorts of really cool stuff that can be done with it it gets into a lot of detail i love the warning uh, this may or may not work defining the plugin skeleton recipe via this interface is known to work with recent boost based themes additionally some features such as describing the privacy api is not supported yet in this interface that's okay all right so under copyright just need to put some information in there because that's what will appear at the top of each file. The component is called local ricochet dev. We already decided that. The version that is it's going to work on is this most recent one, which is the one I'm actually setting it up on. We can leave everything else. I'm just going to call it call it ricochet dev local so that we know that it's local. We can also include other files like an install file. It tells you a little bit, generates the file for the DB install settings, generates the settings file, let's do all of that. You can also add dependencies, so if this plugin relies on another plugin, you can put in the reference for that plugin and the version number as well. Uh, language strings, so you can put in there anything you like as a language string or add in your own language string. So for example, uh, if we had plugin instructions, was the ID for it. I should actually make that an ID. Plugin instructions and the instructions of the text that goes in there. Add that to the language file. I can just keep adding those. CLI scripts you can put in there. Message providers capabilities. So if you want to set up some capabilities first off now you can put them all in. Define what role they belong to and what the permissions are as well. We'll leave that one but that's really cool. Observers and events which are really cool. Um, should look more at observers and events. Mobile add-ons, not sure about those because I don't deal with the mobile at all at the moment. And PHP unit tests, you can set up some classes for that as well. Okay, all we need to do now is go download skeleton. We can download a recipe or we can show recipe to see what the recipe is that makes that up. So then you can start developing your own recipes as well. But we're just going to download the plugin skeleton. And then quite simply, I'm just going to open that up and show you what it created for you. For those that are PHP developers doing plugins, this is really, really cool. You can see now that it created a folder called Ricochet Dev. Well, it's inside our zip file. It's created the DB files, including the install and uninstall. And notice it's put in the package name, it's put in the category, it's put in the copyright for us, it's put in the main function that's required. Uh, all the code, all the main code that you need when you're getting started, just saves you having to do that yourself. It's put in the language file there, including the plugin instructions and where the instructions that we created, plus the string for the plugin name which goes in there anyway because it's needed for the plugin install. We've got a license file, we've got a readme file, we've got our settings page which is all perfect and ready for settings and our version page with the plugin component, the release versions required, all of that. Everything's in there ready to go. All you need now to do is add your index.php and you can start creating your local plugin with all of these other bits and pieces sort of ready for you. It just saves you a lot of time, a lot of effort. So, so I recommend you jump in and have a look at the Moodle plugin skeleton generator. I hope that's been useful for you. Please, if you've got any cool tools or things that you think have helped you with your development, please put them in the comments. I'd love to hear, love to know what you have and what you think and what you found uh, out there in the Moodle plugin world. Otherwise, 
I'll talk to you again soon. I hope that's been useful. Catch you later.